He is a master plumber. He is a plumbing contractor. He is a plumbing instructor with over 20 years of plumbing experience. He is Plumber Tom. Alright, so in plumbing we deal a lot with a right triangle that has two 45 degree angles. And you might be wondering, where does this number 1.414 even come from? To find the origins of 1.414, we must go back in time to ancient Greece, where a man by the name of Pythagoras lived, and apparently he had a lot of time to think about triangles. He spent a particular amount of time on the right triangle, or a triangle with a 90 degree angle. As Pythagoras studied this triangle, he discovered that if he were to multiply each of the sides by itself, or square the side, the area of the two smaller sides, when added together, would equal the area of the diagonal side of the triangle. Pythagoras found this to be true with every right triangle he tried it on, regardless of its shape or size. For a triangle with sides A, B, and C, this relationship can be written in a formula. A times A plus B times B equals C times C, or in other words, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We refer to this as the Pythagorean Theorem. Now, back to our right triangle with two 45 degree angles. It is important to note that this triangle has two shorter sides which are the same length. This is only true for a triangle with two 45 degree angles. Now, to find the origin of 1.414, we will need to use the Pythagorean Theorem on a triangle with two 45 degree angles. What if we were to say the two shorter sides are each one unit in length? Let's use the Pythagorean Theorem and solve for the diagonal C. Remember, the Pythagorean Theorem states that A times A plus B times B equals C times C. For our triangle, this would mean 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 equals C times C. Since 1 times 1 is 1, we have 1 plus 1 equals C times C. 1 plus 1 equals 2, so 2 equals C times C. To find C, we take the square root of 2. If we take the square root on one side of the equation, we must also take the square root of the other. This would be the square root of c times c, giving us c all by itself. To speed things up a bit, let's just use a calculator and take the square root of 2. We will get 1.414. And now you know where it came from. And that might be good enough for your interests, but if you want to take it one step further, let's answer the question, what makes this number a constant? To understand this, let's examine a ratio of the diagonal over the offset. For our triangle, this was 1.414 over 1. We can test our ratio on another triangle. This time, let's have our shorter sides being equal at 4 units. Once again, we will begin with the Pythagorean Theorem, A times A plus B times B equals C times C. For us, on this triangle, 4 times 4 plus 4 times 4 equals C times C. 4 times 4 is 16, so we have 16 plus 16 equals C times C. 16 plus 16 is 32, so we have 32 equals C times C. We will then take the square root of both sides of the equation, and to solve for c, we will take the square root of 32, which equals 5.657. Now that we have our diagonal, we can take that 5.657 and divide it by 4 in the ratio we examined before. Amazingly, this comes out to 1.414, or 1.414 over 1. This is our constant. This means that no matter what the size of the triangle, if it has two 45 degree angles, the diagonal will always be 1.414 times the offset. 
So now you know the whole story of Pythagoras, his theorem, and the origins of 1.414.